Steve. You know, I think that when things aren't completely explained or more details aren't given, assumptions are made. And uh, it's misleading. For instance, I want to talk about saturated fat. A lot of people think saturated fat is bad for you. It causes this, it causes that. Now, I'm not a doctor. I'm not a nutritionist. I'm nobody. I'm just a guy that's pretty healthy in my 60s and have always tried to be healthy and experimented on my body and just I've always been in the gym and so I have experience with it and I research stuff. So saturated fat, why does it have such a a bad rap? First of all, it's not bad for you. Now, if you eat too much of anything, eat too much lettuce, eat too much anything, it's probably going to be bad for you. Uh, I think that's just common sense. But people don't realize, to me anyway, this is my opinion, saturated fat is not this villain that it's been made out to be. And I'm going to give you some examples that are probably going to surprise a lot of you. Saturated fat is not prominent in a lot of foods that people think that it is. Let's take lard. Lard, people, oh, that's bad. That's really bad stuff. No, lard, in my opinion, is not bad. Go look up what the breakdown is. In Lard is 50%, 50% or more monounsaturated fat. Now, everyone knows monounsaturated fat is good for you, right? Uh, it's in olive oil. So 50% of lard is monounsaturated fat. Now, you also have some saturated fat and some polyunsaturated fat, but it's mostly monounsaturated fat. It has a high burn point. It's something that you can cook in. It, it's not unhealthy. It's okay. Let's take eggs. Two eggs have uh, 3.5 grams of saturated fat, five grams of monounsaturated fat. There's more monounsaturated fat in an egg than there is saturated fat. There's two grams, and again, this is two eggs, there's two grams of polyunsaturated fat, which is where you find the omega-3s and the omega-6s. How about beef? Beef, oh, you can't eat beef, it's saturated fat, right? No, it's not. It's 50% plus monounsaturated fat. Yes, it has some uh, saturated fat and some polyunsaturated fat, but it's 50% plus monounsaturated fat. How about in the, the last one that I get to is probably really going to surprise you. So how about an avocado? An avocado, yeah, it has a lot of fat in it. It has a lot of fiber in it too. It's a very healthy food, a lot of calories, but a lot of those calories are fiber. So an avocado has 71% monounsaturated fat, 16% saturated fat, and 13% polyunsaturated fat. Avocado oil, I think, is a very good oil to cook in or to deep fry in. My wife and I do some deep frying with it. It has a burn point of over 500 degrees Fahrenheit. It's not going, going to go rancid. It's, you're not going to ruin it. You're not going to burn it which makes any oil unhealthy. That's an avocado. Now, how about this one? This is the one that's going to surprise a lot, a lot of you. Bacon. Oh, bacon is just pure saturated fat, right? No. Once again, 50%, roughly 50% monounsaturated fat. 40% saturated fat. And 10% polyunsaturated fat. So I don't know, you know, it's like we make these assumptions that these that certain foods are, oh, saturated fat, it has saturated fat in it, and we just assume that it's all saturated fat when it's not. Second of all, 
I don't think saturated fat is bad for you. I eat it. My blood work is outstanding. Now, I, I like monounsaturated fat too. If you watch some of my videos, you know that I start my day, you know, the first thing I put in my mouth is, you know, two or three swallows of a quality olive oil, organic olive oil, extra virgin olive oil. I, I use it all the time. Very healthy. But anyway, um, we don't have all the information or things aren't explained. If I explain saturated fat and monounsaturated fat and what's in these foods, it would probably make you think differently. Maybe it has. You think differently of lard. Lard is fine to cook in. If you like the flavor it creates, cook in lard. Again, it's my opinion. Um, but I'm healthy. You know, I'm healthy. I'm fit. And lard has not hurt me. Um, beef has not hurt me. Eggs have not hurt me. And there's other healthy nutrients in all these things, in bacon. So I'm just saying you might not want to be afraid of saturated fat and and some of the foods that supposedly are saturated fat. If you guys want to know more about me, uh, you can go to stevemain.com. There's a list of some of my affiliates in the description. Um, if you want to get NAD or if you're looking to get on testosterone replacement therapy, there's some information and some promo codes in there um, for glutathione, some things for in, in Vigor Medical and also Royal Medical, which is uh, a place that I like how they do testosterone replacement therapy. You can check them out. So I will see you all next time. Thank you.